Well, we'll make sure the mic's on. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> well, it dried up a little on us, and we didn't have to come in boats today, so that's a good thing. Brother Bob and Miss Connie are going to be heading to New Mexico, so they won't, he won't be here this evening, so I'm standing in. We're going to get right to tithe and offering, and then we're going to go straight from there and, and get into the Word. And uh, I'd like for us to just, just for a few seconds, let's just pray and release faith for utterance through Pastor Jason Studdard this evening. <clears throat> there are many scriptures in the Bible. It's a scriptural thing to do. Paul said, pray that the door of utterance would be open unto me so that, there's a reason for it, so that I can make boldly known the mysteries of Christ. Another uh, verse says, the mysteries of the gospel, which is the good news of Jesus. So we're going to release faith right now that he has unction from the Holy One. He knows all things. Can I get you to turn this down just a little bit, please? He has unction from the Holy One, and in that unction knows all things. And we're praying and believing for the door of utterance, specifically for tonight, to be open unto him. Father, we thank you for your word. We give you honor. We give you glory. We're here so that we might know Jesus. That's why we gathered. We're here fully open and available and ready to be equipped by the word and by the spirit through the man of God that you've appointed to this house. And Father, in faith, we ask that you would open unto Pastor Jason Studdard tonight a door of utterance that he may speak boldly the mysteries of Christ. Father, we know and pray and believe that his words will be always with grace and seasoned with salt so that he know, may know how he ought to answer every person. We thank you for it. We honor and we lift you up, God. We lift up the name of Jesus. And we say that we're hearers and we're doers also of the word. We open our ears by faith. We listen not only with the paddles on the side of our head, but we're open inside. We're sensitive to the spirit of God. Holy Spirit, we receive that you said, Jesus, he would teach us all things. He would bring all things back to our remembrance that you have told us. And he will show us things to come. He leads us and guides us into all truth. And the truth we know will make us free. We receive it tonight in the name of Jesus. Well, we'll just, we'll just keep going. Those aren't mine. We'll just keep going and giving him glory. If you have your, your tithe or the seed with you I'd ask you to just hang on to it I say that nearly every time and, and it's important and you may not think it's important but just believe me it's important you have something in your hand that it's a what you're doing when you're giving it's a spiritual thing it it's released in a natural thing without works faith is what it's dead so when it comes to giving, I can believe that God's my provider. And I can believe that he supplies all of my needs according to his riches and glory. But if I never act on that, do I truly believe? Well, the Bible says you don't. That faith's just going to fall off at the end of your tongue because you're not acting upon it. it, it it's a big thing. And, and uh, I want to read just, uh, man, uh, I sat down to do this and I told Pastor, I said, I've got 12 scriptures, and he's still going, but I promise I won't say them all. <laughs> it, all of the subjects are inexhaustible by God, but I'm telling you, if you hadn't yet settled that giving, and I'm talking monetarily, there's other things that you can give, your time, your prayer, lots of things that you can give, but we're talking right now just money, what you, the fruits of your labor. And if you haven't yet settled that that's of God, I'm asking you study it out. Let him show you because it's all through the word. I'm telling you in less than 30 minutes had 12 scriptures of just backing up giving, backing up giving. And, and uh, we're going to look tonight at the woman at the temple 
when, when they were given and Jesus is just sitting back up against the wall and he's watching. And he's watching everybody come by and, and we could say it this way, just bucket plunk. Because <laughs> he sat there, we don't know how long, but for a long stretch of time, it wasn't just one or two minutes. They didn't take up offering. It lasted for three minutes and then we move on with the service. This was going on all day long the men and women coming through there and just dropping into and dropping into and dropping into and only one did he sense faith and it had nothing to do with the amount turn with me to Luke 21 chapter 1 I mean uh, verse 1 through 4 and he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury and he saw also a certain poor woman casting in their two mites we it's a little bit that's all you need to know you can study it out all you want to it amounts to not very much <laughs> and he said of a truth i say unto you that this poor widow has cast in more than they all so rich men are casting all day long. They're they're throwing. I mean, we we could say hundred dollar bills, writing thousand dollar checks, all day long. And a woman, let's just for this instance say, throws two pennies and it jangles as those two pennies run around that little bowl. And he says she's given more than them all. So it's never about the amount. I'm telling you, the devil will try to get you focused on how much. Don't ever say, well, I know it's not very much. Or it, it's just a dollar, but don't say that. You're, you're digging up your seed with your words while you're doing those things. If God led you to give it, then it, would, it wouldn't matter if it was a million dollars. Especially, now here, before we go into that, let me finish this part of this. For all these, all the rich ones... Of their abundance, they cast unto the offering. And, and that, uh, that word abundance, it's saying out of their leftover, basically. They hadn't got into anything that's going to affect them as far as living. It's really just what they had lying around. You, <laughs> if you had that much in your ashtray. But they went and cleaned out the ashtray of their camel and brought in their, their leftovers. There's a lot in that, though. They're, they're not giving from the right heart. They're doing it so people can see them giving. That's what it's about. It's, it's performance-based, and it's all about, look at me. And, there's no, and, and then here this lady, she's probably sneaking up there with her money. Not because she's ashamed, because God sends faith on this. I'm saying God because Jesus is... God made flesh, but he sensed faith there. So it wasn't that she was ashamed of it, but she's not going up there so that people can watch her give. She's going up there because she believes God is her provider, and this is how she exercises her belief. Belief is on the inside, right? I mean, you can't, you can't touch belief. But when I act on my belief, now you can touch it, you can taste it, you can see it. And, and so that's, that's what she was doing. So for all of these of their abundance, they cast un, in unto the offerings of God. But she of her, this uh, the King James says penury, it's a word that means poverty, that which was lacking out of her want, out of her destitution. So out of very little. She cast in all the living that she had. Now, thank God if he had never asked you to give all, but he will at some point in time. And, and this, this whole principle goes into way more than giving money, but that's what we're talking about in this moment. But, you know, when the rich young ruler, he said, sell all. When he sent the disciples out on their own, they, he sent them out into ministry. He told them, take nothing. Leave everything here. Why? 
Well, because if I take something, I'm not dependent on God to provide for me where he sent me, what he's asked me to do. I'm dependent on, on the jingle in my pocket or my checkbook to provide for me, not the Lord. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. But he that comes to God must know that he is, and he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. There's a reward for diligently seeking him. And I can do that in my monetary giving. I can do that in my service. I can do that in my prayer closet. I can do that loving those that by, by the world standards are unlovable. There's, there's so much to this in your giving, y'all. When, when you finally, man, when God begins, I don't have all of it, but I have a little bit more than I used to. When you finally start gaining true revelation in the area of giving, you find out it's a, this much about money. And it's this much about the heart and God growing your faith and teaching you how to trust him. We say this all the time, but it's good to say it again. Faith can be interchanged with trust. Where I'm not trusting, I have no faith. Where I'm trusting, I have faith. Thank God for those areas I'm trusting and He'll grow me and, and, and lead me and guide me to the place that I trust him and those that I don't. But so much bigger than just giving. But I ask you to hang on to your seat. Usher, if you would, come forward, sir. You know, we can't do this without the word. There's, it's impossible. Faith comes by the word. So I, I say this every time too, and I'm going to say it again. You sow with your words. The sower sows the words. Again, the money's what I'm doing in the natural to something that God is leading me to do from the spiritual side of it. So how do spiritual things get loosed into the natural? Through our words. So when you give, when you sow, man, and... and if all you have is your words, bless God. You have the creative power of God. What more do you need? <laughs> Father, we thank you for your word that we can come boldly in our giving. We come boldly to you and we say, God, we trust you. By faith, we trust you because you're trustworthy. We trust you with everything that you bring into our life. We thank God for the bread and we thank God for the seed. But it all belongs to you. We release it to you and we say, God, by your grace, we'd give anything that you ask us to give in any moment with no remorse and we do it cheerfully. For God, you love a cheerful giver. We ask you to multiply and cause the seed and your tithe to be fruitful to those who trust you and love you, in the name of Jesus, we release it and we leave it there. Father, that word cast means to let go. We let go of it. We refuse to go back and dig up our seed with our words and with doubt and unbelief. We stand stout against doubt and unbelief. We say it has no place in our vocabulary and no place in our thought life. And we know we can do it because you've empowered us to. You said, believe and do not doubt. Therefore, we're empowered to not doubt. We thank you for your word and spirit, God, and we trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Pastor Jay. Thank you. Thank you.